point mutu <laughs> walikuwa na kavi wanataka lakini eh things have changed eh ah, pia uko hapa oh wow maka ma gen z oh that's nice ah wazito eh hey. yeah. mko fiti si sasa si mchane nywele <laughs> i'm just messing with you thank you guys for coming through i'm really humbled and i'm honored asante ni Tell us more about Zingo Mabati for all about maybe they are watching for the first time. Yeah, now this is the most affordable, the most reliable Mabati yes. and the most uh, efficient because we have a free delivery countrywide. And I'm their brand ambassador. So you're going to see a lot of uh, CSR. You know me, I like helping a couple of people. So like I've I just asked them, I ambushed the management on stage. I said, I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it. So I want to see if they do that with me, yeah. it'll mean it's a good company. Mm -hmm. And that means we can go long term with them. Now we start doing other things. For example, I'm, I'm really keen into helping uh, our grandparents. Yeah. So most grandparents are mesaulika. Sana sana wenye wana watoto wao ama watoto wao hawakufanikiwa kufani, hawa vizuri sana kimaisha unapata grandparent ako nyumbani mabati ina leak nini wanaonwa wengine wanaona grandparents kama wachawi some places they even beat them and they even kill them so i want to start uh, identifying a few of them then we just remake their roofing for them yeah. yeah so that's the plan that i'm going to do with zinko mabati besides that ukinunua mabati kama niko kwa mood mzuri ninakuletea <laughs> mpaka kwako na mimi ninapenda kukula. Nikikuleta mabati na uniwache kwa site bila kitu. Sitaleta musumari. <laughs> yeah. So it's an honor. Zinko Mabati is a brand new company. They've just launched today. And uh, I'm their brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. and, God. And looking at your brand and yourself, you don't just go with any any brand. Maybe Definitely. what really pushed you to work with Zingo Mabati? Si pesa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it really pushed me, man. Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, so it's a person who mentioned my name in that space and the person who called me so it was jealous so it's like yo there's this brand that we are working with and we are seeing that you're the best person to be our brand ambassador so we met we spoke then we met the management team we discussed and we had with between my management and arena media and the management for zinco we had a back and forth so once we saw that our ideologies were aligning we said, ah why not let's see lafu pia wakatingika vizuri sasa Ah, no, 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 I can't. No, it's not even about KRA. See, so you, you, you have to pay your taxes. That's what most people always ignore. Once you pay your taxes, whatever you do with your money, it's up to you. But the thing about normally saying the amount of money, different people normally take it differently. Kunola na kama shof, kunola na view from a point of weevil, but kunola mpo na view from a point of inspiration. Kunola akozile za, man, siku moja minta fika hapo maze. But kunola wa, wewe nikuwa nakulipa tha umbili ukwe vixen. Yeah, you said that we did today. <laughs> yeah, surprise! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, we've had, uh, of course, Jalango Mheshimiwa mention you not once, not twice during the event. Yeah. And maybe you can tell us uh, maybe your first encounter, the first time you met with Jalango. The first time I met him, I think I've said this before, we are the National Theatre. Alikuwa natembea kutoka chini yom gumo, tia kenda juu pale wa sani restaurant. Nikana kumisalimi, eh, ni aje, ni aje, Jalas. Akanambia, goto nyiso. Goto Niso, and then he gave me a business card. It was orange, yellowish in color. You come to Kajal Lango. I can party. I love to hang out with you. I love Goto Niso, and then I can tell me I love to go upstairs. I can make you think I like Yo, that was the first encounter that I had with him, and I've never forgotten it. I always chongo him with it. Goto Niso is Luo. For the ones who don't understand Luo, read the subtitles. They are. They should be somewhere here. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to ask you Zinko Mabati and big congratulations. Yeah. So what are you going to do more creative uh, to make this Zinko Mabati go viral and a big web brand? Do you want to make other strategies? Yeah, they are watching. I want Mabati to say, oh, Obina, oh. Like this, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, what are you going to say to my grandpa? I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, so I can't give you my strategy, but you'll see more of it. The way you see more of me and the things I do, you'll also see more of Zinko Mabati. Mm -hmm. Yes. Congratulations. Eh? Yes. Uh, maybe you've been working with uh, our own MP Jalango. Yeah. Maybe what kind of person has been MP Jalango to you and also tell us more about the Kisumu tour. Okay, so I've said this a million times over. Uh, I've known Mashimia Jalango for the longest time. Like we're like brothers, he's like my dad sometimes, sometimes like my bro, sometimes my business boss, sometimes my partner. I learned him seeing from him actually. He's among the people who used to call me. Kunangoma alikuwa nimetoa alikuwa anaitwa shake them. So alikuwa anambia, "Kuja wewe ni mbili mbaka shake them." 
So nilikuwa naenda na ya na MC mi naimba shake dem alafu na kapa alafu napiga tao tano sangine tao mbili sangine nakwambia tuende kule lunch hivyo hivyo tu so it's been constant and i was watching because i used to hang around at the national theater like i told you we met at the national theater so when i used to hang around there every friday there was a show called the factory club that's where i met the likes of willy paul otile brown arrow boy and a couple of other people wa kianza see what some of us tulianzia pale so he used to have an office there. So alikuwa akienda kiss anarudi anapitia hapo, ako hapo tunaona you can associate. Then wakikapa pale jua sani walikuwa na watu KMC pale chini. There was a mugumo to used to do shows. That's where I started learning how to MC, nikifanya dance all music. And then so akaanza kunita kuja hiyo imba yako imba imba. So since then it's been a constant uh, back and forth, guidance, kidogo panel beating. Ara kuna time aliniwacha nyumba yake, aki move from I think alikuwa from Kiss to Standard uh, Standard yes akaniacha nyumba yake akamwambia watu huni ndugu yangu asilipe deposit nikaamia kwake akaniacha dining table i still have the dining table until now eh, akaniacha query mkubwa kwa ukuta ni mjaluo eh, msimwambie alikuwa na query mkubwa kwa nini kama 52 inch tv nafanya ngor masamaki ziko tu hapo alafu una pesa acha kula unaangaliza masamaki uko like hmm. <laughs> yeah so it's been constant uh, uh, he's been a constant in my life so we are friends he's a guy that uh, I look up to we have our ups and downs eh uh, tuko na mabiashara wanafanya pamoja sangine nikienda hivi ananiita anambia wewe badilisha hapa sangine anambia wewe tuende hivi like i was the only celebrity who was in his campaign trail actually i was the only celebrity who was in his campaign trail nilienda campaign trail yake that time i just bought the lexus nikienda campaign trail na lexus mpya wacha watu wapande jua lexus <laughs> tukaiwacha huko ni ngeo gari yake it was amazing but I've been a constant in his life, he's been a constant in my life, he's been a, 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 a father, a friend, a provider, a protector, and also a mentor. Okay. Yeah, so that's what's up. About the Kisumu thing, I'm doing my homecoming on the 9th of November in Kisumu. Yeah, I am from Kisumu, I'm a Lakeman, I'm a Janam, and I just felt it was the right time to go back to Kisumu and tell my Kisumu people Asanteni. They really held me down. Me, Kisumu, ni mezunguka, ni meteseka Kisumu, ni measol konambuta, CJ, ni mesuimu komole, mauji, hizo ni maeria zangu. So I'm from that area, then Maseno. It's been constant uh, back and forth because my dad used to work in Kisumu. Then still kwa nakausha. Because every Friday unakamu na msaidia kuza kwa duka and everything. So I felt it was the right time to go back home. Ni ambiwa tuwa nyumbani, eh, mazi asanteni. Asanteni. And there's no best way to go back home by going back alone. So I put a couple of artists on there. I have so many artists. There's so many that I've not put. But sasa munajua budgets. Alafu tena time. Alafu I know everybody. Everybody is my friend. But and then some of them are also double booked and everything. But wale when you ame patana fasi kukuja, come let's create memories. It's going to be a very classy event. It's a uh, it's Euro. Yes, that is lower Europe. So of course, mugi kujia pale. Don't throw stones anyhow. You might hit a graduate. Yes, yes. Of course, everything is big in Kisumo. Yes, starting with me, Prince Enda, Musa Jakadala, Pengle, Jike Serikal, we have Akina um, uh, Gabiro Mutunesa Sari. We have so many people are going to be performing on that stage. And then I've also put Joakali, I've put Baby over there, I've put Eriko Mondi. There's a lot of people that are coming through. And there's a lot of dignitaries that are coming through as well. So come through on that day. No, not get a coma pema, juicy Taisha. Nazikisho, you know. Then also, just a, I don't have any free ticket for anybody. That's my job. If you love me and you love what I do and what I stand for, support me. Buy a ticket. What what I need to me a free ticket, Nick to me a free ticket. I was an order lipa and nini. Because kill I'm talking about post and lipwa. Their transport, their accommodation, their meals, their everything is on me. And I'm one man. I'm just trying to see if I can have a few partners come on board. Umeski of course MC Jesse I'm any pig any apple. Can be out was inko so MC Jesse, thank you. So let's wait and see what will happen. But regardless it is happening. You also mentioned maybe so far the budget is expected to be 7.8 million for the homecoming. Yeah, yeah. The budget, yeah, the budget is quite something. Where? Lakini tickets zitaen. Yeah, but now when you do an event, don't base your money on the tickets because they might, they might not. Always think of the worst case scenario, then now you avoid disappointment. So when I'm organizing that event, even when I did the Homecoming for Baby, when I did the other one, I didn't look at, waki buy tickets, waki buy sour. Iyo pesa itarudifu nike ile likuwa imetoka hapo. But before that, lazima tujipange, tujipige pige, tujue what's gonna happen, what will go where, tuongena marafiki zetu, kama inda ni membembeleza, inda likuwa booked, inda kubooked maka 2032. 
Musa Jakadala the same. Oh, bro, Maze, this idea. Because now you see, I think it's 19th. Is it next weekend? Next weekend, we're doing Malaika Festival yes. by Prince Inda. So I'm the host for that one. Then now, Pia Umkamingyangu, Lazima Inda Revenge. You see that thing that I keep on telling creatives and artists? It's all about collaboration. You can't make it alone. No man is an island. You can't. Many have tried, many have failed. It is me help you, you help me, we help this person like that Kinwana. Even you, media guys, who may shoot me some na footage, you me. I can't log a post copy, you don't lose anything. Where when you are caption, you are a post, you are the same. So you see, Lobina, I do Mr. Kutumia Kwasabu, Alafu. Yeah, so it's all about collaboration. That's why myself, I'm trying to collaborate with everybody that I can. If I like your vibe and you are positive and you are a hardworking individual, definitely. Um, you're gonna count on me and if I can count on you, we're gonna make this world a better place. Uh, and Obin, uh, looking at you, probably you have something to say about yourself, Juhu. How jamka to you kwa in your right now. You have yes. a story and uh, wale watu labda they are watching you right now. What can you tell them? Wale tuwa natuwa, Obin atuwa metokia tu from somewhere haka kwa penya hako. And also you helping people. I know there is something that pushed you because we all see what you always do to people. Yeah. Uh, sisi ukituita hapa kama media, you support us son, and we appreciate that. What really pushed you to be so supportive to people? So ni na gani? So kuna supportive to people, then kuna... Like, uh, what, something about yourself. What pushed me about myself? Yeah. So about myself is poverty. We were very broke. Yeah. Poor. Broke ni kama unakuanga nayo lakini ya una. Kama unanga tu yoni poor. We were very poor. And... Uh, <laughs> Mweshimi wa suwache kwanza ni uze sera. Imetosha. Sasa kazi moja tu menipatia hivi sasa. Imetosha. So my background, uh, my background propelled me to work extra hard because I don't want to go back to that, and I don't want the generation coming after me to go through that. My kids, my friends, I want to change the narrative of my whole family. Yeah, yeah. So there is that part, okay? Then now for helping other people, the reason why I do it is because me I'm a product of being helped. Mimi ni kusaidiwa ni mesaidiwa. Kama si kusaidiwa, it's just been people, uya na nishika, uya na nifanya hivi, uya na nisikuma hivi, uya na nipeleka huku kando. Mwesimiwa, ya mwesimiwa, ya mwesimiwa, ya kikisha kila mtu wako sawa, sawa. Sidiyo? Siedi ya mwesimamia. Eh. But, thank you. Thank you, mwesimiwa. Ya kutoa? Ujatuma ya kutoa? Uyu ni mwizi. Wa mapenzi. Si lazima unge kuanza ndo wende. Mimi sasa ni seme nini. Kwa nini umenipea hii nafasi? Mimi. Mimi ni kona story. Si basi hamesha sema basi ni unge sa hii. Ya, ndiyo hii hapa hapa. Muna sema aji. Uko salama kwanza? Ehe. Ndiyo hiyo. Ehe.